try again now that we've made all these changes the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to undo them in case something went wrong or you really don't like this and just wanna go back to the GIMP uh, default settings so what you need to do is go to a folder on your computer if you are on Windows XP then this folder will probably be on your C drive or another drive that you installed GIMP on and then you go to documents and settings users and .gimp 2.6 and you need this folder if you are on another operating system I don't know the path to where this is but I suggest you just search uh, on the drive you installed GIMP on and you search for this folder GIMP 2.6 I will write it down in the description so you know the exact spelling and once you found the folder you open it and you find that there are many subfolders in there for your custom brushes and your custom gradients etc etc but what you need is one of the files in there that ends with RC and you need a session RC file and all you need to do is delete the session RC file if you have are afraid to delete the session RC file then you can just copy it to your desktop but it's really not necessary but if you do copy it to your desktop put it in a folder and call it um, Photoshop layout so you can later place it back and have your Photoshop layout back but for now whatever you decide you need to delete it from this very folder GIM 2.6 and then the next time you close GIMP and you will start it up again your GIMP will look like the default settings next thing we are gonna do is customize GIMP a little bit more to look and act like Photoshop first thing we want to get rid of is this dotted line this is not a selection, these are not marching ends this is a layer boundary line and I myself find it very annoying you can turn it off to going by view show layer boundaries and it's gone but the next time you start up GIMP it will be back and for that we have to go to edit preferences image window and beneath it is appearance click on appearance and there you can untick show layer boundary twice once on the default appearance in normal mode and once on the default appearance in full screen mode also while we, while we are here um, I think it's a good idea to change the canvas padding mode and the color effect because if you look it is very light and you're not used to that so I'm gonna change it to light check color and I'm gonna change this one also to light check color and click OK and now we are a very no, we are one step closer to Photoshop and the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to edit the short keys and this is also under edit and keyboard short keys click on it and this is your configure keyboard shortcut tab and when you are used to Photoshop the shortcuts to GIMP are not the same and you can edit them here it's fairly simple and uh, I don't think I need to explain it but I do want to tell you that uh, please before you change the shortcuts write down the GIMP ones because you cannot put them back otherwise you cannot easily put them back so here you can see how to change short shortcut just as you can see there's effort there should be a shortcut but um, here select select none normally in game in, in Photoshop that would be control D and here it's control shift A this might be very annoying and you can change it to control D if I do this control D yes hello control D I get this 
because there's already a control D shortcut. Will I reassign it? And yes, I want to reassign it and I'm gonna change image duplicate to Alt D. So I'm gonna go to image duplicate and just press Alt D and close. And when you look in your menu, select non now is control D and image duplicate is now Alt D. And you might want to use all kinds of different short keys, but do remember the old ones. Write them down somewhere so you can always change them back. And that was it for changing the interface to look like Photoshop and to make GIMP act a little bit more like Photoshop with the same short keys. And uh, in future I will be making some other uh, tutorials on how to add some plugins of things that are in Photoshop like layer styles, content aware scaling and a plugin to accept uh, Photoshop plugins. So um, if you want to know how to do that, subscribe to this video and you know, or to my channel and hopefully those uh, videos will be up very shortly.